Kia ora, I'm Christine Liggins. I am CEO of Debt Fix the Debt Relief Foundation. We are a debt solutions charity and we focus on debt solutions and education and advocacy. Here at Debt Fix, what our role is, is to bring the sector together to help clients get the best possible outcomes that they need. And part of that is um, working with the budget services, the social services, um, counsellors and all those kinds of people, also with creditors and banks to make sure that the clients are a, fully aware of what's available out there but also that they're getting the right help for their circumstances as well. We can only do that by collaborating and working together to make sure that we understand the client's needs and circumstances and that we find the correct product for them. There's a lot of people working in the financial service sector, all trying to do their bit. And we come together every now and again in a conference and we think, oh, that's a good idea. But we didn't know about it before. And the, 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 my thought is that we need to know more about what we're all doing and then we can actually do it together rather than in silos. There's a lot of silos at the moment. Um, we're all trying to do our best. We don't realise what's out there. And by working together, by talking more and sharing more about what we do, we can achieve a much better outcome for everyone in New Zealand. The problem at the moment is that funding makes it competitive. And people are competing for the same amount of funding or they're being funded on the amount of clients they see or the amount of uh, outcomes they achieve. And it's making it competitive and, oh, don't pinch my clients, so don't do that, you know. And, and that's stopping the innovation of the greatness that we can actually do together. So if we change the funding model or make more funding available for collaboration and working together, you know, there's a lots of great products out there. We just need to use them, work together, and stop the competition. Work in this for the greatness of the client, not us. The clients that we see come to us oh, full of shame and humiliation. They believe that it's their fault that they're in this mess, that they have to get themselves out of it, and so that stops them asking for help and assistance. That all the other issue is that they don't know that there's help and assistance there. Take COVID for example. You know, in 2020, a lot of people uh, got the wages cut. I think everyone did. They got the wages cut. They um, maybe lost the job. And to some of them, this was the first time they'd ever experienced this hardship. And they struggled because they had no idea where to go, where to ask for help. It's all sort of a, an underworld is the help, you know, it's not out there, it's not shouted about, um, it, it's not up there and, you know, adverts on telly are needed, more openness is needed. We need to stop pointing our finger at people who have uh, who are in hardship or in vulnerable circumstances because they might it might not be their fault and most of the time it's not their fault so if you look at what's going on especially in our line of work with debt um, bankruptcy let's let's use bankruptcy as an uh, as an example if you go bankrupt then you are shamed you are ostracized from society you get your bank account closed you've got bad credit rating for seven years all because maybe your partner died and now you can't afford your debt, so you've gone bankrupt. How is that your fault? And why should society point their finger at you just because some bad things happen to you in life? We should have more respect for people and less judgment and actually look at the person and what the best solution for them is. And it's not pointing fingers and it's not ostracising them. So at DebtFix, our crew members see these clients every day and what we're seeing is that they're constantly excluded from getting out of their situation because they're not aware that there is other help out there that can get them out of this situation. They have this 
and societal attitude of, well, I got myself into this mess, so I need to suffer the consequences and it's up to me to get myself out of it. And we need to ask for help. There is help out there. One of the things we need to look at is how we do reach the unreachable. And a lot of the banks closing isn't helping. Um, you know, applying for things only online, only having online chat and things like that at financial services like creditors and lenders, that's not helping. So we've got a client living in his car. He can't afford the petrol to move away from his workplace, so he's camped out at his workplace. He only has a mobile phone, which he can only top up every now and again. He's got no access to all these services that can help him because they're all online. And he can't get there because he's stuck in his car without any money to pay the fuel. How is he going to get help? We need to be looking at those types of situations as well. I think people who hold a position of power in banks, creditors, government, I think they need to realise what the obstacles are of people not being um, included in these financial services. You know, lack of Wi-Fi, lack of data, lack of <laughs> a person to talk to. They need to understand these obstacles and work ways of removing those obstacles. That's what we're trying to do at DebtFix. We're trying to remove all the obstacles so that anyone can reach us. And that's what's needed. We need all to be reachable. It would be great if uh, banks and creditors, specifically where uh, people are suffering hardship and they can't afford to pay their debts and their loans back, it would be great if they worked closer with the budget services and debt solution providers to work with their clients to help them out of the hole that they're in. When you solve the initial issue, the initial problem, why they're not repaying their debts, why they're not making payments to the power, it can't stop there. It's got to be a, a, a journey that you go on and support the client in. When our clients go into a debt solution, we facilitate and support them on their financial well-being and personal well-being journey to improve all aspects of the life so that when they come out of the journey three to five years later, they come out more informed people who can make better choices in their life that suit their circumstances. What we've seen when we've worked with clients like this, it's made a phenomenal difference, not just to their financial life, but also their personal and well-being life. It's a known fact that finances cause a lot of stress, which cause um, less productivity in work. So by helping in this area and supporting them on this journey, it's going to improve the economy as a whole and society as a whole as well. What we hope uh, is that by us working with adults in these situations, that they can then pass this down to their children. So in a roundabout way, we're solving child poverty as well, but we're doing it from adults down rather than children up. And it's all those adults who have missed out when they were children. We're educating them and it's, it's great to see the changes that we can make to Fano. By working with clients in vulnerable situations right now, society can change it for the future, simply because you've made the people feel they're worth it, feel like someone cares, and on their learning journey, they can also then pass it down to their children and their grandchildren and change society from the top down. There's not much innovation that's needed. Maybe technology innovation, yes, but maybe just smarter ways of using the people that are already here in the sector working in this area. Some technology innovation is probably needed, but the main thing is to work smarter with the people already here, to collaborate more, working together we can achieve much better outcomes for all New Zealanders.